According to some anthropologists, the 350,000-year-old Steinheim Neanderthal skull of Germany has been a puzzle in paleoanthropology, and others have asked whether it is even a Neanderthal. The skull is slightly flattened and has a cranial capacity between 950 and 1,280 cubic centimeters. Sometimes referred to as Homo steinheimensis in older literature, the original fossil is housed in the State Museum of Natural History in Stuttgart, Germany. The Steinheim cranium is gracile, and seems to be a female because its size is smaller and its cranial features are less robust, in comparison to other European fossils. Actually, the only clear Neanderthal feature is the occipital bun, while many other features are more similar to archaic Homo sapiens. For example the presence of a face which is longer, smaller and flatter than the Neanderthal face. The Steinheim skull is probably the strangest mix of hominin characteristics in the European Middle Pleistocene. It retains some primitive characteristics though, intermediate between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens, such as the heavy brow ridges and the smaller cranial capacity. The very spherical brain case is also quite similar in shape to that of Homo sapiens. The primitive skull of Steinheim is a unique find that defies classification, almost 90 years after its discovery. The skull shows characteristics of both Homo heidelbergensis and Neanderthals. Until the late 1980s, the Steinheim fossil was sometimes referred to as Homo sapiens steinheimensis, while during this time Neanderthals were sometimes referred to as Homo sapiens neanderthalensis. It is classified by some paleoanthropologists as Homo heidelbergensis, or is believed to be a transitional form of Homo heidelbergensis to Neanderthals. This has sometimes been referred to as pre-Neanderthal, but has also been placed outside the Neanderthal clade. The Steinheim skull was discovered on 24 July 1933, near Steinheim, Germany. Prior to the discovery of the skull in a gravel pit, many objects such as bones of elephants, rhinos and wild horses had been unearthed there. Therefore, the archaeologists excavating the site were already sensitized to possible skeletal remains in the quarry. An anthropologist traveled on the same day of the skull's discovery and reviewed the still-hidden skull in the wall. The next day, he began the careful excavation. It was clear, on the basis of the shape and dimensions of the skull, that it was not a monkey, as had initially been suspected. It turned out to be a human skull from the Pleistocene. The skull was roughly cleaned, hardened and plastered, so it would arrive safe and sound in the State Museum of Natural History. The find of the Steinheim skull turned up no other artifacts. There were no artifacts from the people, as well as no other skeletal remains found. There were also no tools such as stone tools or bone implements discovered at the site. But it can be assumed that this hominin would have been capable of creating tools, and using them for different purposes. Furthermore, we know that genetic exchanges with Africa influenced early Neanderthals and hominin fossils from Apidima Greece close in age to Steinheim may reflect this mixing. The Steinheim skull is sometimes described as an early Neanderthal, together with other European Middle Pleistocene specimens. What's more, today's perspective on the antiquity of the Neanderthal population, going back as far as 600,000 years, has really shifted the way we have to think about these isolated European fossils. It's possible as some have written that there is another, non-Neanderthal population here, and it's also possible that these are hangers-on from an earlier, pre-Neanderthal habitation of Europe. Some European fossils have features that indicate they were intermediate between earlier Homo heidelbergensis and the later Neanderthal people. Most fossils now known as Homo heidelbergensis were previously known as either Homo erectus, Homo neanderthalensis or archaic Homo sapiens. Their classification is therefore debated, are they Homo heidelbergensis or are they early Homo neanderthalensis? More recently, fossil remains found at Grandolina in Spain have cast doubt on this interpretation. Although many experts consider these remains to be part of an early and variable Homo heidelbergensis population, the discoverers believe the fossils are different enough to be given a new species name. Fossils from Grandolina in Spain date to 800,000 years old, and may be Homo heidelbergensis or a different species, called Homo antecessor. 
These humans evolved in Africa, but by 500,000 years ago some populations were in Europe. They lived and worked in cooperative groups, hunted large animals and made a variety of tools, including stone hand axes and wooden spears set with stone spearheads. Homo heidelbergensis may have spread out of Africa and had established populations in Europe and possibly also in southern Asia, by about 500,000 years ago. By about 300,000 years ago, regional differences began to develop, as they adapted to their new environments. This species lived between 300,000 and 600,000 years ago, but the African fossils tend to be older than those from Europe. The tools made by Homo heidelbergensis were mostly used for hunting and butchering. Most of their tools were of the type previously used by Homo ergaster. These were large stone tools with flakes, removed from two sides to produce the bifacial stone hand axes, cleavers and carvers classified as Mode 2 technology. Some later populations are known to have also made tools from deer antler, bone and wood. These materials were modified into scrapers, hammers and sophisticated wooden throwing spears but mostly do not survive in the archaeological record. Fire was used, although further evidence is needed to establish whether this was a controlled use of fire. Animal hide clothing may have been worn, especially by populations living in the cooler European areas. But direct evidence of clothing is difficult to obtain, since it is non-durable and tends to quickly perish. No direct evidence of clothing currently exists. Between 600,000 and 200,000 years ago, the climates of Africa and Europe experienced a series of warm and cool phases, and the move from Africa to Europe subjected these people to generally colder climates. About 300,000 years ago, a severe cold, dry period began and the Sahara became a barrier to movement between Africa and Eurasia, although movement may have been possible between Europe and northern Asia. Homo heidelbergensis hunted large animals for food. The fossilized bones of these animals have shown that large animals including rhinos, hippopotamus, bears, horses and deer were targeted. These animals were skillfully hunted then butchered in an orderly fashion, that suggests that these people were working in cooperative groups. Fossils of this species have been found scattered across Africa and Europe, and a fossilized skull cap discovered in northern India's Namadha Valley may also be Homo heidelbergensis. If so, currently represents the easternmost occurrence of this species. However, some proposals consider that Neanderthals and Homo sapiens may have had common ancestor, different from Homo heidelbergensis. A study by anthropologist Chris Stringer of the British Museum found Homo heidelbergensis to have not been the common ancestor of Neanderthals and modern humans. This species, instead was placed entirely on the Neanderthal side of the tree, along with Denisovans and the Steinheim skull, which was classified as an early Neanderthal fossil. Taking this into account, the last common ancestor of modern humans and Neanderthals needs to be dated even further back, to Homo erectus. Sequencing of ancient DNA and ancient protein of further human fossils has to be done, in order to shed light on the relation of Homo heidelbergensis and the Steinheim skull to the proposed last common ancestor of Neanderthals and Denisovans. Then, a 2021 study by Stringer found Steinheim sits as a sole sister to a group containing Homo antecessor and Homo longi plus Homo sapiens. Together this group are considered as a sister species to the Neanderthals. Maybe the Steinheim fossil is a Homo antecessor descendant, and maybe even the name Homo steinheimensis should have priority over Homo antecessor. But right now the simplest hypothesis for the 350,000-year-old hominin, with mixed morphology, is that it represents an individual within a variable spectrum of Neanderthal populations, possibly with more African ancestry. Then again, maybe it could even be a Denisovan, 